keys in my hand. I can never understand how it's never land from a breakup. No. UK Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Deadly backcourt pair of Booker and Beal. The forwards, Allen and Durant. And it's Nurkic in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Pistons, Thompson and Harris are their forwards. The backcourt pair will be Cunningham and Ivy. And it's Duran in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. All the talk, Greg, leading up to this one has been about the impact of the backcourts. That is the truth. I mean, that's why they play the games. One guy gets hot, a team gets cold. That's all it takes to swing the entire outcome of a game. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Allen and KD are the forwards. Booker and Beal are the talented backcourt. And it's Nurkic in at the five spot. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. And coach, how about the Thompson twins making their impact felt in the 2023 draft? Yeah, Brian, we've seen twins in the NBA before, albeit not very often. But these two made history that draft day, becoming the first pair of twins to be selected in the top five of the same draft. First free throw is good. The Pistons have had quite a few high lottery picks of late stands. However, they haven't had much success yet. Well, Brian, you know, sometimes it takes a lot of time. Some teams will come together quicker. Some players and some teams need more time to develop. Detroit's just got to keep adding to what they have and continuing to develop the players that are already in their system. And a great fan base in Detroit, starving for victories. Durant finds Allen. Nurk gets a screen on Harris. For three, Allen. That shot is off. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Here's Harris. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. In so many ways, Harris can beat you. He has the size and skill to score from all three levels. Beal, the pass to Booker. Launches it. He drops it from range. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look from that. Now here's Ivy. Cunningham outside. Five on the clock. Duran with a screen on Booker. Here's Cunningham. Misses off the left iron. Well, that wasn't a bad shot. Defense playing a little loose there. Sometimes it just doesn't go in. Booker, good. 
The easy money there for Booker. You can't let him get this close with the ball. All right, let's get a report from Ellie. A bit ago, J.B. Bickerstaff and I were able to chat. When I asked him about Yusuf Nurkic, he noted how physical he was, and he said to me, we need to... Booker, the pass to... Allen outside. Out to Beal. Nurkic to screen on Thompson. Here's Beal. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Thompson. Defense a little antsy there. And Beal takes it. Phoenix shooting their free throws of the game. to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the... Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Cunningham outside. From outside the arc. Harris misses. And it's Beal with the ball for the Suns. Here's Booker. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Well, Grant, if you talk about consistent top-level scores, Devin Booker is near the top of that list. Yeah, and going back to the 17-18 season, Devin has averaged at least 25 points every year. Book can create his own shot and finish. It's hard finding guys who can do both. And the Suns making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. Just an offensive machine. Booker generates points consistently, night in and night out. Pass to Harris. Here's Ivy. Let's the three fly. Knocks it down from distance. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Yeah, it's always nice to see him drop in a triple early in the game. That'll set him up for success the rest of the way. Damn, that one's good. Booker's got 10. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots in through contact. Cunningham against Booker. Cunningham outside. Thompson, a screen on Booker. There's Cunningham with the three. Durant pulls it in. 
Phoenix leading by three. Booker, the pass to Durant. Nurkic with the ball. They double him with Duran. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And so here's Phoenix. Durant, no good. The Pistons have gone three of six from the floor. Ivy passes to Harris. Three-pointer off the mark. For Phoenix, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. O'Neal passes to Durant. On target from range. On the catch and shoot, Durant is so effective. You have to run him off his shot. Cunningham outside. Thompson, a screen on Beal. Back to Thompson. Nice shot by Durant. He's got five. Well, when you have a scorer as skilled as he is, you do everything you can to get him the look to you. Time out, time out. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Bradley Beal is settling in as one of multiple stars in Phoenix. He said, it's been an adjustment for sure. You go from being very ball dominant to now you share the dominance. And it's a sacrifice and also an adjustment of learning a totally different role. Ryan, he says it's a process, but one he embraces. Uh, good point. Thanks, Allie. Changes here for Detroit. Holland comes in for Thompson, and Beasley has subbed in for Ivy. Plumley's checked in for Phoenix. Okogie comes in for Durant. Look like we live in our dreams now. To the haters, they looking like now. All my partners, they all understand now. Durant, the pass to Cunningham. Back to Duran. Plumley against Cunningham. Over Plumley. To the right side. Duran, the screen. Here's Holland. They still need this. And he sinks the layup. Well, it doesn't get any easier than this. They'll take these shots every time. Beal against Beasley. Beal, the pass to a Kogi. Plumlee is screen on Beasley to the middle. Got a piece of it. Here's a Kogi to the inside. Five to shoot. Turin with a steal. Harris passes to Cunningham. Devin Booker, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. I 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And for Phoenix, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. Yeah, and that's helped them get the lead. But we'll have to see if they can sustain this offensive output. The life of an NBA head coach, Dan, is not easy. You've lived it. What's the toughest part of the job? Don't say dealing with the media. Well, no, it's not. Look, Brian, I, I think people would easily say it's the time spent away from home. And it's also the losing, quite honestly. But I think what my family had the hardest time with was how consumed I was as a coach during the season. So even when I was home, all I was doing was thinking about basketball. And how many losses have you endured as a broadcaster coach? Zero. Undefeated, Brian. Undefeated. Cunningham in at the point with Beasley. They're the backcourt. Paul Reed is out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Holland in at the three. That's the group for Detroit starting the second. Now here's Cunningham. Pass to Reed. Beasley with it. Back to Reed. And it's stolen by Publi. Now Morris. He's watched by Cunningham. Morris passes to Okogi. No good with the triple. Pistons trail by six. Pass to Cunningham. Over Morris. Ooh, Cunningham making moves inside. And getting up close and personal, Cunningham knows he can get his shot to go inside. Morris against Cunningham. The three is up. Okogi's shot is off. Well, that's a shot the defense felt like they could live with, and it worked out for him that time. And Stan, after starting his NBA career playing at center, the 6'8 Isaiah Stewart, more often now a power forward. Yeah, look, Brian, he's improved as a shooter. He still looks more like an old-school big at the four spot, but he can step out and stretch the floor. Fontecchio's checked in for Reed, and a change for the Suns. Allen, he's checked in for Okogi. Fires in the triple. A pretty big component of Cunningham's game. He knows how to produce from the arc. Plumley a screen on Beasley. Beal, the pass to Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Stewart. Beasley outside. Puts up a three. Another three for Detroit. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got a lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look. Beasley against Beal. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Nimble moves on the drive by Beal. Able to just slip past the defense into a shot. Beasley, pass to Cunningham, and Bradley Beal is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. A different look for Phoenix. Kevin Durant comes in for O'Neal, and it's Booker in for Morris. And J.B. Bickerstaff decides to call timeout. He wants to review the game plan.
Central City play a record killer show. the second quarter. Stewart, screen on Allen. Uses the glass on the layup. Good work down low. I mean, I like how confident Thompson is from this area. And stolen by Cunningham. Cunningham steps on the gas. And make no mistake, Kate Cunningham is the engine of this team, Grant. Man, his vision and playmaking are crucial to the offense. Coach trusts him to make the right reads and set up his teammates. He has cut down on mistakes and is rounding into an elite point guard. I got gold up in my team, but ain't no need of The only time I'm in DC, I'm up in Prima Dogs. She say that she see me on TV. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. Kate Cunningham has faced his share of challenges in his career, Coach. Yeah, Brian, the injuries, the discouraging losses, but he's remained steadfast through it all. He's a Believes in his game and now wants a team around him that can fulfill that need. He makes one or two that time. Stan, you've coached so many rookies over the years. What are some key things you like to see from a player coming into the league? Well, look, you've got to have the guy, Brian, that's ready to compete at that level and, and has to bring that every night. From there, it's just all about learning. There's going to be mistakes, but you want guys who can learn and improve at a consistent rate. Is it true that defense is the fastest way into the coach's heart? Well, it's certainly a way to gain confidence, that's for sure. And it's the Suns with the ball. The Pistons getting their last shot to go. Booker, the pass to Plumley. Curran with a steal. Pass to Cunningham. Harris outside. 11 feet out. And that one's long. Suns trail by three. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Brian, a lot of teams are staying clear of that dreaded second apron of the luxury tax, but the Suns, they blew right past it, adding Bradley Beal to create a star trio. Kevin Durant said, quote, that's what you're supposed to do. It's about swinging for the fences every year. They're looking to go the distance. Every year, you're right. Talent is there, Allie. The Pistons have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Allen against Ivy. Durin with a screen on Allen. Ivy up top. Six to shoot. And he lobs it up top. And it's stolen by Pumley. Here's Okogi, defended by Thompson. Durant earning those two points. And taking a quick gander here at the hustle stats for the Suns. Well, our coaching staff has to be happy with how active they've been defensively, forcing turnovers and making the offense uncomfortable. Yeah, I also like how they've immediately gotten out in transition. They came to run, and we'll see if they can keep it up. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's foul number two for him. Nurkic has checked in for the Suns. Bradley Beal comes in for Okogi. Harris finds Thompson during the screen. Shot clock at six. Thompson against Allen. The deep three. And it's Phoenix for the rebound. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it seems like everybody's jacking him up from way out there these days. You want guys to stay within themselves. Thompson passes to Cunningham. Two points. That one goes. 
Cunningham's got eight points in the quarter. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. And so it's Cade Cunningham making things happen for the Pistons. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back with you shortly. Basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. Yeah, it's not like he's getting everything at the rim. He's playing smart and just taking what the defense gives him. Kicking off the second half, here's Mike Budenholzer's five. KD and Nurkic are the big men for him. Beal and Allen are out on the wing, and it's Booker in at the point guard position. Here's Duran, and the dunk by Duran. And using his link, getting in close to stuff it down. That's just too easy. And at 6'10", Jalen Duran is an incredible athlete for his size. Yeah, he's got a lot of bounce, which helps him as a rim protector, rebounder, and lob threat. Plus, he's got quick feet, and he's able to guard smaller guys on the perimeter. The first one falls. Stan, you're the son of a coach. Your dad was a great coach at the collegiate level. What was the best advice you ever received from him? Well, Brian, the one that has always stuck with me is he told me in my first season if you think you've got all the answers, it's only because you don't know all the questions. And I think that's true in everything, not just basketball. Beal outside. And finally, they hit one. Beal's got six. Such a tough guard. I mean, Beal mixing it up inside, coming out on top in that battle. Booker against Cunningham. Shoots over Booker. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. Durant, the pass to Nurkic. Down low. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. And you can't let Harris get this close to the basket. When you do, this is what happens. And Booker's got the ball here for the Suns. Allen outside. Back to Booker. Ooh, against inside resistance. Booker still good. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Yeah, I like how they're establishing their interior presence right away. That's going to collapse the defense and create other opportunities. Here's Cunningham. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Deal against Ivy. Outside Booker. Allen outside. 4-3. Duran with the rebound. 
The Pistons have gotten two or four shots to go since the break. Harris with the drive. Thompson left side. And there's Cunningham outside. And there's the call on Yusuf Nurkic. That's foul number two for him. And J.B. Bickerstaff decides to call timeout. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. I'm sleeping good at night. My partner down a ride. Cause she ain't got no license. This life is such a ride. I swear so enticing. You gotta try it out. Gold all up in my mouth. It's just a symbol of status. Can never wear it out. One day might cop me a paddock. Can never wear it out. Huh? Boy, what is you talking about? I send my thoughts into the sky Living how we living on my knees Asking why 24-7 we just try and make it by 24-7 I'm just trying to stay fly Any, meeny, money, meeny What's up with you, mo? What's up with them cookies? What's up, what's up with you, though? Catch me in your city They might book me for a show Sickness if you're needy I might be your antidote Any, any, meeny, money, meeny What's up with you, mo? What's up with them cookies? What's up? What's up with you? Know? Catch me in your city. They might be me for a show. I know you know just what I'm talking about. You know I love you when you run your mouth. I know you love me when I. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Ivy passes to Harris. Six to shoot. Duran with a screen on Duran. The three, here's Harris. They grab their own miss. Duran with the bucket. You have to put a body on Duran. He's quick, he's athletic, and he has that 7 5 wingspan. Pass to Booker. Deal with a screen on Cunningham. And Booker puts up a deep three. The rebound by Detroit. Duran's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And one thing we know we'll see, Jalen Duran giving his all on the glass, Dan. Yeah, Brian, look, he's one of the best per-minute rebounders in this league. And it's what the team needs for him. But he's also become a very good finisher around the basket. Yeah, what a feed from Ivy. These are the type of passes you love seeing from him. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Durant, pass to Beal. Nurkic a screen on Ivy. Ivy against Beal. Count the basket. Beal's got eight. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Cunningham outside. Ivy a screen on Booker. Here's Cunningham. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got a sixth rebound on the night. Outside Booker. Oh, he tries a three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Ivy passes to Thompson. Durant pulls it in. Well, the defense was right where they needed to be to stop the layup. Great awareness and effort. Here's Booker. Oh, Booker shrugging off the contact. Yeah, you expect tremendous effort from a scorer like Booker, but it's still impressive to see him delivery. Thompson against Allen. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Detroit shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And some changes here for Detroit. Stewart, he's checked in for Duran. And Sasser subbed in for Kate Cunningham. And the Suns also making a change. O'Neal's checked in. Free throws good from Thompson. 
Minute 32 left in the third. Outside Durant. This one for three. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. He's got 10. Yes, yeah, smooth and focused. KD is so polished, so prolific. Stewart, outside. 107 left in the third quarter. Back to Sasser. On the wing, Ivy. Thompson, a screen on Beal. From the high post, Ivy's shot is off. Phoenix has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Durant. There's a screen by Nurkic. Over Ivy. And another basket for Phoenix. Watch how Durant disrupts the defense with the pick and roll, creating an opening for himself. Sasser outside. Back to Ivy from deep. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Beal finds Booker. Nice D from Thompson. Sasser outside. Pass to Thompson. Here's Ivy on the take. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Ivy's got five points. That's an excellent bucket there. Not an easy one. That took some creativity. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Phoenix out in front, up two. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. This has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Cunningham in at the point with Beasley. There the backcourt. Simone Fontecchio out there with Holland. And it's Stewart in at the five down low. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. Good work there as it goes. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Pistons trail by four. Cunningham with the ball. Off target from three-point range. Well, he is desperately trying to get something going. But this has not been his night. They need to consider making an adjustment. Three-pointer, Stewart. O'Neal pulls it in. The Suns lead by four. Allen inside. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's Holland. That one goes in. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, this is definitely a close one. Let's see if they have enough in the tank to take the lead here. Plumley, no good. Well, I know we can finish at the rim, but the defense did just enough to force the miss. Cunningham on the wing. Fontecchio, the pass to Cunningham. Over Booker. And it's Cunningham missing. Well, it's just not been his night. He's finding good looks, but they're just not falling. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. And with the score as close as it is, these are the opportunities you truly can't allow. Beasley outside. Stewart, a screen on Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. Beasley, that's good. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Booker against Cunningham. Plumley a screen on Cunningham. To the inside. And there's Plumley on the assist by Booker. And the Suns lead by three. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Back to Cunningham. Oh, Bucker with a block. And he recovers it. And I like how tough Cunningham is, welcoming the contact on the way to the hoops. 
And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Well, I've been a little surprised by how many mid-range jump shots they're taking and hitting. But so far, that seems to be the recipe that's working for them. One other thing they've done very well has been scoring inside, just pounding and grinding down there. Free throw good from Cunningham. Yeah, can you say total package? Cunningham, the prototype guard these days. A different look for Phoenix. Nurkic has checked in for Plumley. Kevin Durant comes in for O'Neal. And it's Beal in for Okogi. Both free throws good from Cunningham. Here's Booker. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Using his size to full advantage. He feeds everyone to the ball. Pass to Ivy to take the lead. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got eight rebounds in the game. Deal with it. And here's Nurkic. Unloads from 13. Rebound Detroit. Harris with it. Now guarded by Booker. Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Flying high. Asar Thompson. I wish I still had hops like that. Booker. Pass to Allen. And here's Durant. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That would fall. Well, this is what he does. A proven scorer in the clutch. And J.B. Bickerstaff decides to call timeout. He's looking to make some very important adjustments. from the sideline. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. He pleaded with his guys to keep their emotions in check, saying you're battling right now. Continue to play smart. Don't try to be a hero out there. Play for one another. Guys, let's see what happens. Thank you for that, Allie. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Ivy passes to Cunningham. Allen against Thompson. Back to Harris. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. The Suns have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Nurkic. Out to Beal. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. And it's a four-point Phoenix lead. Talk about trusting Beal in the big moments. No matter the stakes, he can find a shot. They double him with Booker. Now Duran. And here's Ivy from the arc. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Durant's got five rebounds in the game. Over Harris. And that 
one's good by Durant. Durant's got nine points here in the second half. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Yeah, he's leaving no doubt in this one. Doing everything he can to slam the door on a comeback. Now here's Cunningham. Nice work beyond the arc by Cunningham. And you can tell Cunningham is a very determined player refusing to give up on the situation. Feel outside for three. And again, it's Phoenix from deep. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. Now here's Cunningham. And the dunk by Duran. What an injection of energy from Duran. Working hard to find points for his team. Booker against Cunningham. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Point ball game. Taking care of business at the line, and he adds some cushion to their lead. Doubled by Durant. Pass to Duran. Durant against Harris. And out of bounds. The Suns will take it. Intentional foul right there. Brand new keys in my hand. I can never understand how to never land from a break up. Brand new keys in my hand. I flash the push you never stand. I'm a man. I'm gonna take my time and bring her off. This is the song. I should put the mix out with that daddy shoe. She got strings in her own. She might as well be lost. Daddy tells you not to play. She can't stop that ball. Slam it with the gritty. We can do it. We can run her off. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Shoots over Booker, and it's Cunningham missing. Here's Phoenix. They're on a 14 to 5 run. Booker against Cunningham. So the Suns win it. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Coach Stan Van Gundy, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we present the player of the game, Devin Booker.